Alright guys, oh, I'm about to put on the last panel here, it's going to look pretty sweet, plastic's taken off from the outside so we just need to take it off the in, taking off the plastic on the panel. Beautiful. Oh yeah, this is gonna be a case that's gonna get dirty really fast, <laughs> without a doubt. All right, we're gonna put this panel on. Uh, come on. There we go. And it's in. And it's shut. And it looks beautiful. All right. Uh, wow, this thing's gonna be huge having next to me. <laughs> this thing's gonna be humongous having next to me. We're gonna plug in cables here. Um, still got all these uh, block things on the, the actual car. Alright, so here's the back of the case. Alright, we got uh, an Ethernet cable here. This is a brand new Ethernet cable cables I bought on um, Cat 6A. So, best of the best. Well, that's supported by my place. So, that goes there. We have an audio cable, which is going to go right there. Um, display port, of course, which we're going to put up here on the first card. Or is it display port input? Here we go. Display port is in. Um, I also have some USB stuff I'm going to be plugging in as well. So, here. Give me one sec. Um, I'm not going to be using USB 3.1 until I get my new keyboard. Well, I mean, I have the keyboard. I'm just waiting for the mouse. So until I get the mouse and all that, that's when I'll use USB 3.1. Why won't this go in? Okay. So I'm going to plug in the power cord right now to this thing. Pretty freaking sweet. And then um, turn it on see what happens. Super excited. This is going to be good. Finally, I've been waiting to do this for... All this time, I really hope that I did much better than many of you have thought. Okay. All right, so plugged it in, turned on the monitor. It's on standby right now, about to turn this on for the first time. What are we gonna do? One, two, three. Oh crap. <laughs> Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Okay, hold on. Shit, I gotta see, cause I, one of the things I heard about this monitor does not switch inputs. Um, and the on-screen thing is horrible. We want display port. What's gonna happen? Oh, it's on, shit. Okay, delete. Hey guys, it's on. Um, obviously Windows isn't installed, I have Windows actually over here, but the first thing we need to do is if I can actually get into the UEFI BIOS. Um, enter to set up through configuration on your system. I have one to set up. Because what I need to do is I need to go into the... Here we go. This is what I need. All right. So I got load optimized defaults. CPU fan. CPU off fan. Yeah. CPU fans are one. And then the fan in the back is running. Just make sure all the fans are running good. And they are. Beautiful. Default. Load optimized defaults. Let's do that. Awesome, awesome. Looks like we're got we're we're nice and we're nice and cool at 26 degrees Celsius because we're not doing anything. All right, advanced mode. There we go. Uh, I got to change memory to the XMP mode in here. So XMP. 
There we go, DDR4, 2,667, all right, it's 2,666, but, um, for, you know, whatever. Uh, I'm also gonna set the fans to silent mode, if I can find them. This is all overclocking stuff, but I'm actually gonna let the, um, I'm going to let, uh, the Asus Dual Intelligent Processors thing do the overclocking for me, because I do not want to mess with something I'm not, I'm not, I don't want to learn well, like, I want to learn, but it's, like, I don't want to, like, do this as, like, my first time. I'd rather, like, read up about it and do it on, like, a system that's, like, not mine. <laughs> but, and do overclocking on, but, yeah. Monitor. Yeah, where's the... There we go. Windows 10 CD. Where's the serial code? Oh, it's right there. Jeez. All right, so CD's in there. It's gonna boot from that. Pretty good. I do notice on this monitor, I see some uh, some really bad um, well, uh, what do you call that? Backlight bleed. Yeah, some backlight bleed right there. Is it booting? Yep. There we go. Hey guys, how's it going? I just finished installing the motherboard drivers. Actually, just got done installing the Realtek HD audio thing. And I automatically put the screen in 4K resolution. So, and it looks like 3D, for some reason, that's weird. NVIDIA 3D Vision has already been uh, put on here, so. Uh, I wonder, okay, you know what I think is happening? I think Windows Update is getting like, you know, the information for the system. Let me have a look at this. Yeah, because it's already saying I have two GTX 980 Ti's in, it looks like the latest driver? Hold on. I gotta, I have to go to GeForce, geforce.com. Geforce.com. I gotta see this. 353.54. And we have a 353, hold on. 3980 Ti, so Windows 10. 64 bits. Three fifty-eight point nine. Okay, so it installed. I don't know how, but it installed. You know, a pretty close driver to it. At least put the screen in native 4K. Um, all right, so we need to install this. We really need to. Okay, we'll do GeForce Experience since that's just going to be much easier. And since in the future, Nvidia is going to force you to use GeForce Experience to begin with. Um, so we'll download this immediately, and then I have to go to Ida, um, or I have to download benchmarking tools to make sure, and then we're going to mess with the overclock. We're just going to use the Asus thing that they have built into this. Um, so I need to do that. Yeah. It's, I, I think it's installing a graph, uh, it's installing a driver right now. <laughs> I think that's why my screen's flashing. Um, I'm also going to go to Corsair. Alrighty, so it is day three. Yes, day three. Um, after I left off recording, I basically got to installing a bunch of programs and also did some overclocking, which took like practically like two and a half, three hours of overclocking. Um, so status of the PC is really good so far, really awesome as you guys can see. Everything is running really beautifully and smoothly and you know, everything's pretty good. Uh, the panel's pretty nice. I have a, uh, I put a 4K wallpaper on this, so it's pretty nice. Let, let me see if I can get the camera really close. It's gonna be look, it's gonna look a little bit bluer because of the freaking mode I have it in, but look, look at the detail. That's like 4K. Like the camera's like practically touching the screen and you can still see pretty, pretty good detail. It's almost like I'm actually there, so. Pretty awesome. Hey guys, I'm in Vancouver right now, and uh, everything's going well. It's beautiful weather outside. Looks amazing. Not really. <laughs> but anyway, so it's pretty cool. Um, I'm about to overclock the graphics cards. I actually have to install some more programs and get that situated. Oh, just to show you guys one sec. Just to show you guys. 
So I used uh, ASUS's uh, Dual Intelligent Processors 5 application to do the overclocking. It did an exceptional job. Check this out. It did a successful overclock to 4.7 gigahertz on the i7-5820K. That's really, really good. And keep in mind that the RAM is also clocked. Um, we'll put the RAM down, actually. We could put the RAM down at 2133. Or actually, no, it's running at 2133. So, it is 2,666 megahertz, the RAM. Let me see if I can get this. Here we go, CPU frequency. Oh, that's just the CPU frequency. Never mind, I made a mistake. You guys get the gist of it though. Everything is going absolutely smoothly and uh, loving the computer, loving the overclock. It runs beautifully, really nicely. Um, have SLI working, which is great. I can get this to show you guys. SLI is properly working and it's gonna overclock the graphics cards today and get to installing programs today and tomorrow is probably when I'm going to test out games. So just wanted to bring this quick video just to show you guys the next part that you guys will see. I'll, well actually I'll show you guys what I accomplished with the overclock of the graphics card. So give me a sec. Alrighty so I just finished, I just finished overclocking my graphics cards. Uh, just to show you guys the settings that I have. I tried to go a little bit more conservative. Um, again, huge shout out to Sloppy Weblo for putting up his uh, overclocking video. Nearly six months ago, I followed that video's tutorial and I did this kind of by myself. And uh, I, I was a little scared. I'm, I'm going to be completely honest. I was a little scared, you know. But I'm pretty happy with it. Um, I tested it out. Looks uh, Everything seems to be good. So let's just show you guys what I have. All right, MSI Afterburner. I didn't. I was a little bit more conservative um, this time around because you know my cards are already so powerful. I didn't want to go too overboard. Um, you know, I'm not looking like to get the the bleeding edge of performance before my cards begin to crack and break down. Um, so I went a little bit more conservative on the on the speeds and the power just to make sure you know that that everything's fine just to give myself some comfort really i'm sure i'm gonna be happy with the performance regardless so when an extra 120 megahertz on the uh core clock an extra 100 megahertz on the memory clock for the uh fans i set up the set them up in intervals and i literally copied uh sloppy whip blows like tutorial for this hold on so literally have it set up want um i have my cards running you know much uh cooler because it's all it gets really hot in my room one of the big problems with my room in general is and just living here in you know the san fernando valley it just gets really hot we're talking like 100 plus degrees sometimes it'll get as hot as like 80 just 80 in the, in the house and my room is like my room is so much hotter because of all the electronics that I have. So I need to make sure that my you know computer, my components run a little bit cooler normally than they usually do. So pretty much that's what I have. As you can see, my cards are at a really, really comfortable 40 degrees Celsius, going down to 38 on the second GPU there. And uh, super, super happy with it. So just wanted to show you guys that we have a success for overclocking. Right now, I'm gonna get to working on these videos, and uh, we're gonna be testing out some 4K games tomorrow, probably. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to test out some tonight. We'll see, so, all right. Whew. We're finally done with the, the main building portion of it. I already downloaded all my essential programs, but we have to get onto the games, all right? So, all right, we're almost done. Almost at the home stretch.